So we're going on a little festive trip to Edinburgh and this is the vibe. Um, I just got this coat from Disturbia. Um, I think it's so cute and I've just got the little little skirt and a little jumper and this necklace um, my mum got me. So it's like a little moon with a four leaf clover in and she lives in Ireland so um, yeah so it reminds me of her every time I wear it. But yeah um, hopefully it's not going to be too cold, we'll see. Hoping to go to Christmas market, we've got a gig on the Saturday. So yeah, I thought I'd just take you along and show you Edinburgh because it's one of my favourite places. Good morning. Um, so yesterday we ended up going around the Christmas market, um, and it was it was nice. But it's I always feel like it's quite small actually. Um, so it's it had like a couple of decoration stands, kind of like wooden carved some different food. Um, so Andy had his first ever hot chocolate. He never had one before, um, so that was good. Um, and then we just kind of had a wander around, um, and then we went to. A few different bars we went to the last drop which is like the place where where just outside um a lot of the hangings took place for like a hundred years straight there was nearly daily hangings there um so the last drop it's kind of like where you go to drink your last drink before you get hung and then also the last drop of being hung uh, sorry hanged um so yeah there's a lot of stuff like that in Edinburgh like very historical um so we just went there and then we went to Bannerman's Rock Bar and um, Whistle Binkies and they have this band on from like midnight till pretty much three in the morning and that were just doing like old rock covers and stuff so that was quite fun. Um, so I think today um, we're going to go and get some breakfast and then um, we've got a few things booked so we do have a meal booked later on and then we also have a ghost tour. Um, which should be good, I haven't done this one before um, and then also we've got the gig tonight so we're going to see Hell Ripper tonight um, Hell Ripper is like black and speed metal, <laughs> like thrush, black thrush metal um, one of my favourite bands so yeah, really looking forward to going and seeing them tonight um, yeah, so I'm just in the Airbnb getting ready um, and then we're going to go
so we ended up not going to the ghost walk which is annoying but um these things happen sometimes um i think i tend to plan like too many things in one day so i'm trying to plan less um so we were like in the middle of eating our dinner and it was like a really nice meal and everything and we were gonna have to leave straight away so we were like should we just not rush and like run and have to stress and try and get there and just enjoy this and skip it so yeah we didn't do the ghost walk in the end um but i'm sure it was interesting so i don't have any interesting facts here from that um but we did go to the witchcraft museum so i was just walking along um and i saw like a poster on a lamppost for the witchcraft museum and I didn't know it was a thing and um, so yeah I just went to go and find that it was like one minute away from where we were and it's 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 cool it's really really small so it's just one room basically um, and it's got different things about like Scottish witch trials and um, different types of magic like divination um, it's got a bit on like Ouija boards and tarot and that kind of thing um, and then like a lot of interesting things about kind of like Scottish witchcraft and magic and, and paganism how it kind of like developed and stuff so that was really cute um it was really interesting um even though it's really small it's nice to see places like that and realize that you know a lot of there's like a lot of like-minded people out there who are interested in the same things um and i got this book when i was there which i don't know if this is the guy who runs the place because um yeah i don't know if it's his book um but it's the black book of isabel gowdy and isabel gowdy was um a scottish witch and unlike a lot of witches who went to trial and were like innocent and didn't do any witchcraft didn't know anything about it and all that kind of stuff isabel gowdy is really interesting because she just straight up confessed to like all this witchcraft that she did so um in his book it's a combination of a couple of things so it's got like a just a direct um copy of the actual text from the courtroom so like what what was said at court um all the different spells and charms that she did um that she said she did uh, and then like some other things about scottish charms and stuff so this is really fascinating because i think it was 1662 um she did her first confession and she did three confessions and the stuff that she says is just crazy like she just stood before the whole court and told them about like all the stuff that she did with the devil and meeting the devil and the charms that she did and things that you can do to like kill people it was like really intense um and then she talked a lot about shape shifting as well so she said that she could become a hare i shall go into a hare she said and then you become a hare um you can turn into a cat a crow stuff like that so she said she used to turn into a cat and like go into her neighbor's houses like all this stuff which is like really really interesting and then she's got a lot of stuff that she said about um fairyland as well so she talks about going to the fairy hills and seeing the the king of fairyland and what the fairies look like and dining with them and all these kind of things so really really interesting um so there's a lot of like different theories about her like was she um like first of all is it all legit um was she in a right mind like you know there could be people who are suffering with mental health problems schizophrenia cycles and things like that which didn't have names for back then so was this part of that um was she using psychedelics so we do know that traditionally psychedelics have been used like um ergot um which is like a psychedelic fungus mold type thing or like mushrooms and toadstools and stuff like that to help with it's, i guess it would be like the equivalent of like shamanic trances um to go and like like journey as a hare into and go to fairyland and stuff like that as well so really really interesting but it's got like she just she just straight up told them like everything that she did so there's all these different charms in here the things that she said to do certain things so there's simple things like you know curing a fever um and then ones for like causing harm and illness and stuff so it's really fascinating to be honest um very interesting woman um and it's got stuff about not magic as well like that was that was the thing so like a lot of times people would use not magic to like bind the wind or like keep the wind and then you could like undo the knot um and sailors would use it um 
so yeah really interesting a lot of stuff in there so i just picked this up to kind of like have a little flick through yesterday and then ended up reading like half of it because i was like so enthralled by the court confessions in particular um really really interesting and then it was quite fitting as well because i went to see um the band hell ripper and that album the new album is based on like scottish um folklore mythology and it's called warlock screaming with the tags so i opened this page to um the robert burns poem which starts with let warlock scream and with the tags so it's quite fitting actually um so yeah i got that book that was really interesting um and then the gig was really fun as well it was like really busy <laughs> it was packed um i might put a video in i'm not sure because it'll be pretty low quality video from my phone um but yeah just to get, kind of give you the vibe but yeah so i'm just back home now and i feel like i'm not that well to be honest I, I get ill all the time i don't know why um so i feel like a little bit run down so i'm just gonna try and keep warm even though it's freezing apparently it might snow later this week so we shall see how that goes so yeah it's quite a little short vlog but i just thought i would share it with you and kind of things i got up to because i wanted to show you the witchcraft museum really and show you um talk to you about the scottish witches and stuff because it's very very interesting a lot a lot of people were um taken to trial for being a witch and um, a lot of people were, were killed as well so we don't have kind of like the final um details of what happened to isabella gowdy it's pretty much assumed that she was killed for being a witch um but it's not really recorded anywhere but yeah really really interesting it's got a lot of stuff about um like grimoires and book of shadows and stuff in there as well and like all the lore around those and how people were um like really really scared of black books witch books um and they would kind of be a living magical entity in and of themselves and stuff like that so yeah very interesting so i just wanted to share that with you <laughs> hopefully you enjoy this video even though it's a little bit of a simple one and this weekend i'm going to be decorating for yule um we're going to get the tree and just make everything nice and cozy and have like a christmasy yule weekend maybe go to a christmas market i'm not sure depends which ones are around they're a bit hit and miss sometimes so yeah hopefully i'll see you in that video and uh keep warm and cozy and i hope you have a great week